Hey guys, Kill Supreme Z, and we're back with some more Sons of the Forest community based tours. So, this one's brought to you by Amos, and it's a uh, lakeside resort. Said it's very cozy, and you know, it looks really nice. I haven't been down there yet. I've just come onto the server, so I want to see it kind of like firsthand. And uh, now we are going to take what looks like the world's longest zipline system. <laughs> it's going to be up here a while by the looks of it. Straight to the base, and then uh, we'll begin our little tour. Here we go. Looks like we're coming into it now. We just passed over Coffin Waterfall. And we're heading into the base. This has this um, taken quite a while. It's a little bit laggy. So you'll have to bear with me. But hopefully it will settle itself down. Right, where are we? On the map, we are here. So you've got Coffin and Waterfall over there. And then we're on the kind of like the lake part that's attached to the back of Coffin Waterfall. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that looks real nice. Right, let's not be uh, let's not be too nosy. I don't want to ruin it. So what have we got? We've got ourselves a little entrance system. Looks like the zip line straight from the beginning point to the location, which is nice. Obviously, this zip line system's clearly been modified in the files, so you can put it in one area, note where it is, shoot it in another area, note where that is, and then just join them both up. This it's more complicated than that, but that's basically how it's done. What have we got? So we've got ourselves like a pre-built tower, which is nice. Like this. Oh, look at this little trim. That looks good too. Oh, there's another zipline system. I don't know where that goes. We'll have a little test of that in a minute. Kind of like the walls. Like the way you've done the walls of the staggered. You've got the whole kind of like a chunk taken out the bottom, full beam, and then you've put what looks like a half log in the middle, giving it that sort of pattern, which is good. We've got ourselves a nice little log holder there. That looks good. I like that. Using it as like a backrest for the bench. It's a good idea, actually. It looks really cool. I like the way that works. Nice little seating area down there. Table made out of shelves, though. With the log holders. Or the uh, firewood holder, shall I say. Holding it up. That looks cool. I like that. That's a nice little custom table there. Never thought of that. Never seen anyone do that, actually. That is cool. I do like that. Right. Let's, uh, let's take the zipline system, figure out where it goes. It could just lead to the camp, to the loop. Then we'll come back up. Nope. <laughs> man, man, I couldn't have been so wrong. This is taking me across the other side of the map, I think. Uh, it's probably to the bunkers, maybe. Okay. Right, we're back. Let's have a little go down this tower, then. That looks nice. I like the walls. It's a shame you've got to put, like, the, the full wall in to get the stairs working. The stairs have always been a bit weird in this game. I don't know why. Yeah, it would have looked nice if we had the freedom to be able to do stuff like this, but still get the chairs in. Uh, not the chairs. You know, the stairs. That was close. Use it as a chair if you want. Um, Yeah, I like that. Nice high ceilings. A nice tower. It's got loads of light coming through. Breaks it up with a wall. Same pattern all the way up. That would have taken quite a while to do, to be fair. And then you've got this stone beam across the top over there. A couple of support beams just to hold it up, which is cool. I like this. I am lagging a little bit because there's so much in one area. So bear with me. I am trying to trying to get through it. There's some parts where it doesn't lag and there is some parts that will. I like that again. You've got what? Three quarter log, half log. And then uh, some two logs will make it look like a little bit of a roof there, which is nice. I like that. Right, let's have a little explore down and around here. You've got a lot of greenery here, which is nice. I like it. It's really cosy looking. Like, really cosy looking. It's a lot of detail. It's not a huge base, but it's quite compact, but cosy. Again, with the bench, you've got a couple of benches joined up there. With the firewood holder there, which is cool. It's, uh, it lags. Everyone, every time I look that way, it lags. And then we've got, like, a little cosy, kind of like a green area here. I like that little fence and I like what you've done there the defensive wall on like um what's that half logs it looks nice I keep forgetting you could do it at smaller logs to be fair and then obviously you've got the defensive wall that runs around the outside that's the tower we came in that looks pretty cool I like that again a shame about the full wall parts but that can't be helped when you get the stairs in place it's a bit annoying I know oh what's that oh nice we've got some spiral stairs Okay, we'll look at that in a second. So he's got like an electric fence set up. I like that. I like the way you picked the uh, quarter logs to go there. Just so you can see over the lake still instead of burying it all behind a full defensive wall. Which is good. The base is nice and defended. Nice spiked wall across the top. And then we've got a crap ton of uh, plants and stuff. 
keep yeah, this is what's probably lagging me out to be fair it's probably the plants yeah that's nice nice little wooded area that's oh, another seating area All right we'll come to that in a second i'll check this out so it's a tree house looks like it's been extended because you've got the support there yeah it is they've extended the corner parts let's have a look at this so this is i believe shelves yeah they're all shelves and then they've just you can attach shelves on top of shelves so by the looks of it they've attached it to the part there and then just attach the shelves crooked all the way around to make a spiral staircase which is it's pretty cool real nice i like that idea and into that so it looks like they're still building this definitely looks like they're still building it great idea though i wish we had more freedom to build in trees to be honest i really do wish we had more freedom to build in trees like we could customize the buildings more and stuff like that but we we don't if we did i'd have a treetop like village going on but it's uh you have to have ground supports in obviously ground supports means the enemy's going to attack them chances are you're going to lose a big chunk of your base if they knock it down i just wish we had more freedom with the old tree building Instead of just like little platforms. Right, what have we got here? I don't believe that's this side. I believe that's on the other side. Right, let's follow this. And we'll go around and figure out where to go next. Right, so I'm going to go through this part here. It looks like, a again, garden area. Loads of plants. I love the fact that you stuck a stick path down. Looks nice. I like that. Wow, that looks real good. Look how cozy it looks. It looks really nice. I like the the use of the space. It's a small area, that's the thing. But they've used it for such a good details, and there's so much here. Like the plants again. What was that? The hell is that? Is that naturally here? Must be. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's cool. They are naturally there. I like the way you've incorporated that. I didn't know that's a jaw hanging from the uh, hang, hanging from a tree, as you do. Nice relaxing garden jaw. I like the way you've built this one again, just going for the round building style, which is good. I've never been good at building these, but this one looks like it's really nicely spaced out, actually. Nice entrance system there as well. That's pretty cool. Again, you've incorporated more of the surrounding, like you've got left the rock there. Built that little fence around the tree. And then that brings you back and around again. I'm going to jump up here so we can get a better view. And again with the um, the firewood holder with the bench in front. Looks really good. Looks like it's a backrest. Loads of plants. I'll just follow this around. This looks really cosy. I can't touch anything on this one because this is that actual server. So I don't want to be screwing it up. And there's the rain. Doesn't matter. It gives it a bit of characteristics, doesn't it? Yeah, look at this. Like natural plants around there and then you've just got all the bushes and stuff nice seating area i like the way you've done the skull lamps and the sticks behind there that looks good nice sticks with the stones underneath obviously keep it in place and then you've got your uh kind of like skull lamp hanging off them it looks real good it just looks so cozy it looks really cozy really nice garden area is great and then we've got some sort of shrine here by the looks of it. How'd they do that? Oh, they've put... Okay, so they put sticks in the floor, supported them with the stones, bench, and then built across the back. That looks cool. It looks like a candle shrine. Looks like you could just light them all up. I like that. I do like that. Man, this is cosy. Real cosy. We'll have a little look around that part in a second. And then we've got the tables again. Custom built tables. Looks like shelves. Yep, shelves on top of, again, the firewood holder. And then a, a few more there as well. Electric fence goes all the way around the outside. So does the defensive wall. Right, let's head back up. Okay, so we've hit the main area by the looks of it. Nice stone path that runs through there. Again, a the part that runs down there. I'm going to check these buildings out next to this tower. So I'm going to check this one out first. That looks nice. I like the entrance system. Again, the spiral stairs. And then you've got the sticks next to them. The effigy sticks, those ones. They look nice. That is a great entrance system. Stops it from being just the generic straight in sort of thing. Is it that little... Oh, what's this? Weapon holders. Oh, we've got ourselves a church. Obviously, it looked like a church. 
I like the fact that you've done that though. You've got the seat again with the same holders at the back, and then you've got shelves on the back of the actual sticks. Oh, you've put sticks in and then put that on it. Okay, looks good. I like that. That's some really good stuff. I've never seen people do that. That looks cool. It's a good use of sticks. And then you obviously you put cloth on every other one. That would have taken ages to build. Nice stone trim around the top there. Little windows in the church. Some more weapon holder racks there just to give it a bit of pattern on the wall to break up the solid brown walls. Obviously, priest does stand here. There's another cross down there as well. I like this. Then we've got the little private area back here. And I believe that takes you outside. Yeah, it takes you outside. That is nice. I like that. That is really nice. Right, okay. And then over here, we just got, again, custom table and a nice little seating area outside with a bit of an overhang made out of stone and wood. Really well done. I love the side parts to it as well. Man, I love this place. Do you know what? I live here. It's a nice little little village. What's this? Toilet? Are we guessing? Are we going to guess that this is a car, Z? Uh, yeah. That's the long drop. Again, that looks like they built it out of um, shelves. Good use of shelves, actually. They're very versatile. I'm stuck on the floor. Let me stand up. I like that. Sticks at the back, shelves, and then firewood at the bottom. Makes it look like it just goes straight through there. Then you got yourself some cloth. I like that. That is pretty cool. Right. Look at that. And then we've got that there to look at as well. Like I said, it's not massive, but it's bloody detailed, and it does look cosy. Yeah, I love it. It's a good location. Loads of trees as well. All right, what have we got here? Oh, okay. So this is, well, nice relaxing sunbed place there. I like what you've done. Again, all built out of shelves. And ammo, uh, weapon holders, I think. Yeah, weapon holders. Got a little bit of a sun lounge going on here. Again, shelves, a couple of sun, um, weapon holders. Brilliant use with the shelves. I love it. And then you've got the nice little area there just overlooking the water. And I think these are, yeah, the actual plants that they've put in. That's pretty cool. I like it. Nice and green. I love the way these buildings look. Let's head around here. Let's check out this building down here. Oh, here we go. We've got another seating area here with a bridge. Another seating area little part that runs across i love the pattern there as well with the bushes that just peek between the uh bit of wood there and a pair of set of stairs that goes into the lake for a swim this is epic i love this so it just proves that bases don't have to be huge well i mean that's kind of funny coming from me because i don't know what build is big bases but it's nice and it's cozy it just looks nice so this looks like the entrance into the base Kind of like what you've done there is with that as well. You use the yellow wiring to go across the top. Give it a bit of decorative look to it. I'm pretty sure that probably powers the wall too. Let's have a little look outside. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. A nice bit of colour to the build as well. And then we've got what looks like the garage. Yeah, it's the garage. It's where you'd park all your cars. Then it's obviously they've got tools and stuff over here to make it look like it's been used. Nice. I like it. Oh, he's got a snowplow. I hate those things. Last time I had one of them, I parked it in the top of a tree. Look at that for an entrance. All right, that looks awesome. Especially with the spiral stair, shelf stairs going up like that. That is nice. Big overhang too. I like the way you've done that. That is cool. Nice seating area out the front, some shelving. Just sit here and overlook that. Just be so cool. So nice. That's what I strive for in life. Nice relaxing seat seating location like this and just nothing around. I like the fact that you've used the sticks by the side of the door as well to give it a bit more detail, a bit more depth. Right, so this looks like it's two um, kind of like round buildings built onto the side of sort of uh, some straight platforms here. Looks pretty damn cool if you ask me this dining room area 
Now, they did drop me a message and say that these lights are, in fact, on. It's just when there's a lot of decorative items around it, the leg lamps turn off for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe the game can't run it. Maybe it struggles with it. But I like this. I like the use of the um, the weapon holders on the side of the walls. And again, with the sticks. Looks nice going up the side of the wall there. But it has a clock and a nice table. Some shelves around it and a nice seating area. That is cool. And then on the other side, I love the rugs. The way you've done it. We have what looks like could probably be the relaxing chilling area. I like that. Again, good use of sticks. Put loads of sticks down really close to each other. Turn them into effigy sticks and then put shelves on them. That is good. It's a nice divider. You could be so much more versatile doing it with sticks and stuff like that. You could just look at, wiggle them around and do all sorts of patterns with them. So this is a kitchen area by the looks of it. We've got the fires where you would cook. Yeah, I like that. It's a really good use of, of uh, building parts. Right, okay. Love it. Let's head upstairs. I don't even know how you managed to even get stairs in there, but you did. This is cool. I love this build. Look at that fire pit. We'll go down there in a bit if it doesn't go out. So that's coming up as well. We've got ourselves again more sticks. It's a shame, like, it's a real shame that the game dies. The more you build, the more it lags out. I just wish that we had, a, it was better performance when we were building things, because people build some mega bases, and then you want to view them, and then you can't because it lags too much. But this one's not so bad. Right, so, oh, <laughs> so we've got a toilet. That's obviously the water holder for the toilet, and then you'd flush it, and it would just rinse it through. That's pretty cool. I had one of them in my house when I was little. And then you come through here. I like the again, I like the uh, the sticks splitting up the wall area. Jesus, they tell you what amazing use of space, absolutely amazing, so compact. Look at that. They've even managed to squeeze a bed in here. I have no idea how. Like, how did you even plan this? Is that leading to the bathroom? No, that's the top of the stairs. Okay, we'll close that. I mean, it's lagging so much that... Oh, hold on. Couldn't shut the window. I didn't want to mess with things. I like that. Again, good use of sticks. Breaking up that solid brown wall. That looks cool. Look at that. Oh, they got hang... How did they get them up there? They must have built up to it. Placed it and then removed everything. But that looks cool. They look like proper hanging lamps there. Love that. Apparently, they are on. They are connected. It's just like I said before. More items in the game means less things work. Okay, this is a nice little garden area. Yeah, nice little garden. Oh, it's not. It's a seating area. Oh, wow. Okay. That was a surprise. I thought it was just, um, just like a garden area. I like it. That is nice. Man, this place is so nice. It's a gorgeous place. It's absolutely amazing. Right, what have we got? Little fireplace under the stairs, which is cool. I love the railings on the stairs there with the sticks. Absolutely amazing. And again, built your custom railing upstairs with the sticks. Brilliant use with the sticks. I'm going to keep saying it because it is. It just looks absolutely amazing. Maybe a concert area over here. You'd stand up there. Singing and stuff. Cool. Again, nice seating area. Nice high ceilings. Then we'll go up again. Jesus Christ, These, they've used every part of this tower. I wouldn't even begin to imagine how hard it would have been to build that sort of stuff in a building or a round floor like this. We've got a bar. Some amazing views over here. Yeah, that is awesome. And we've got ourselves rope bridges going across. It looks like they've zigzagged it. So from there to there, and then from there to there, just to give it that pattern in the middle. And then we've got ourselves a booze area over here too. I like it. Love it. Right, back downstairs. I missed out these two areas down here. I'm guessing these... Yeah, it's like I guess they're rooms. I don't even know how they managed to squeeze this in. Like, how do you manage to squeeze this in? In a round building. 
Nice little sun lounge. Relaxing area there. This is cool. Right, let's check out the next room. It's just it's so cozy. I love it. And another one here. How the how did they do that? Built a platform, maybe, and they put the bed on top of the platform. Gives it that little extended part around the outside of it. That's cool. I like that. Right, okay. I believe that's this tower done. Let's uh, figure out how to get out of here. We'll head downstairs and check out the rest. Right, so we're back downstairs. We're at the main part again. Huh? Oh, shelves. Two, uh, what's that, quarter logs? Two quarter logs with shelves put across the top. That looks cool. Like that with the peak. The stairs here, so creative. Like, amazing. Yeah, I love it. Nice. And then we got ourselves the footbridge that comes out. Wait, where does that go? Did I miss this bit? I think I missed this bit. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so we're back into the big building. Okay, well, this is separate onto the edge side of the building. So we've got ourselves a fishing rack area. It's obviously some sort of food area. And then we've got ourselves... Okay, another bedroom. With a balcony, perhaps? No, access to the water. We've got another house there as well. Okay. So this is an extension to the edge of the uh, the two round towers that we were looking at just down there. As you can see. Oh, there's a guard up there. That's the buildings we were in and they built an extension that leads to this little bit here. Again, we have another nice seating area. The fire pit, unfortunately, has just bloody gone out. That's a shame. Let's get it started up again. There we go. Managed to get it started up a little bit. I just wanted to see what it looked like fully working. That is nice, though. I love the fact that you've cooled off these trees. It's really cool. Yeah, this is nice. I like that. Nice pattern to it as well. It's built out of completely out of stone. Yeah, that's cozy. That is cool. Nice to have a garden. Oh, that tree's gone. Must have been an accident of some sort. The log holders down here. Gets into fuel to fire. Like that. Right, let's get back up in here. Hold on, this. Let's check out this little building here. This has got to be the toilet. Yeah, it's another outhouse. It's built the same as the other one. Really fancy. And then the stick path that leads you to this insane structure. <laughs> Look at it. That must have taken absolutely ages to build this. So we've got a range down there too. That would have taken ages. Look at that. Yeah, that's amazing. I love it when it's built like that. No wonder why it's lagging. There's about a million bloody logs in that. Right, we'll go around there and we'll check that out in a minute because that's the range. I do want to get upstairs in here. Uh, we've came through there. And then we've just got what looks like a yeah, big, big bed area up here. Maybe a lounge area to chill out. Lay around with some booze and stuff. That's cool. Right, onwards. Right. Now we've got... That is insane. And the amount of stone that's gone into that as well. It's crazy. Got a long house here. We'll go in this. In a second. We'll do the uh, range. So we've got a range around here. You'd stand like what? Here. Grab your weapons from there. And unload into that. Which is cool. And then you've got a seating area over here. So you can watch. That's pretty cool. I like that. You've got some targets as well like the use of the uh, stick path on the floor to clear the grass. Yeah, this is real nice. I like this. Right, let's go in this building. Okay. So, what we got in here? We have a... Ooh, a spa. Booze and water there. Got a nice seating area again with the same tables. Nice high ceilings. You'll come down here. Have a little seat. Chill out, talk to people. I like that. That is cool. Something like this would like you used to make a lot of money out of something like this in real life. Build it on the edge of a lake. People come in, sit in it. It's fresh water. It'll be great. And then a nice little seating area out the back where you would just chill after going for a swim. Lakeside Resort. This is lovely. Let's get a flyover. 
There we go. Let's have a little look at this place. See what I mean? Like, it's not big by any means. It's not massive. It's big, but it's not massive. But there's just so much to see. It's so compact and it's like there's so much detail in it. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Look at that roof. Beautiful roof. Love the way it's designed. And then we've got the main building over there. I believe I've got everything in. And then we've got all the defensive wall that goes all the way around. There's just so many trees and bushes. I can't even see. Okay. <laughs> so many trees. There we go. Now I can. There you got a real good picture from our other height. You would barely even know it's here. Like, it's really difficult to see because it's hidden in the trees. Can't wait to see what that building is that they're building down there. I'm guessing that's going to look real nice. This is the area where we started. And I believe we've got everything over here. Yeah, I've been up here. Yeah, that is amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. And there we have it. There we have the Lakeside Resort. Absolutely amazing build. Love it. So, oh, solar panels in the water. Okay. It's so much detail in this. And it just looks absolutely amazing. So I'm going to leave this one here. So thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more subscribers, also, I've got a Discord. Feel free to head over and say hi. And if you feel like showing me a bit of extra support, you can. I have a Patreon page. Link is also in the description. It is very much appreciated. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my, um, my YouTube members, my patrons, and my subscribers. I appreciate it very much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye.